Flux 2 is finally launched. And the best part is that you can now use up to 10 reference images inside Confi UI to create one new image. I'm going to show you how to use all 10 images in Flux 2, how to use auto prompt so you never have to type a prompt yourself, and how to run Flux 2 even if your GPU has low VRAM. I tested FP8, I tested Q4 GGUF, and I'll show you the exact settings that worked for me. So first, I have created four different Flux 2 workflows inside Comfy UI. So instead of putting everything into one huge graph, because that gets confusing very fast, I split it into four simple workflows. A text to image workflow with auto prompt, a single image edit workflow, then comes a two image workflow that mixes two references into one result, and the last one is a multi image workflow that can use up to 10 images as references. I'll go through each one and show you how they work. So before you run any of these workflows, you need three main model files and one optional GGUF file if you are low on VRAM. So the original full flux to the model is very big. The full file is around 64 GB and even the LiDAR build is around 34 GB. And to make this more practical, there is also an FP8 version of flux to dev If your GPU does not have a lot of VRAM, you can use the FP8 build. For very low VRAM, there are also GGUF quantized models, Q3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. And from my test, Q4 gives quality that is very close to FP8. So low VRAM users can go for the Q4 GGUF model and still get very good results. Next comes text encoder. Here in this, Flux2 uses a Mistral based text encoder instead of the old clip or T5 style encoders. So there are two text encoder files. One is in BF16 and one is in FP8. And if you are low on VRAM, use the FP8 text encoder. And if you have more VRAM, you can also try the BF16 version. And last one comes VAE file. You also need the Flux2 VAE file. Use the file named something like Flux2 VAE safe tensors. Place the files like this in your uh, Comfy UI install. Like uh, Flux2 model files go into your Comfy UI's models diffusion model folder. And accordingly, VA file goes into Comfy UI's models VA folder, and then text encoder file goes into Comfy UI's models text encoder folder. So once all the files are in the right folders, you can open the workflow and they will load correctly. So first, let's talk about the text to image workflow because that's the base for everything else. And in this workflow, you'll see two new Flux nodes. Empty Flux2 latent and the another one is Flux2 scheduler. So basically, these are new native nodes in Comfy UI that are required to run Flux2. So before you do anything, you have to update your Comfy UI to the latest version. Open your Comfy UI manager or your Git install and update to at least version 0.3.75. After you update, restart ConfUI. Then these Flux2 nodes will load without any red errors. So here in my workflow, I also made it simple to switch between GGUF and safe tensors. So if you want to use only GGUF, just enable the GGUF branch. And if you want to use the standard safe tensors model, enable that branch instead. 
you can pick one based on your GPU VRAM. Inside the graph, I also wrote a small note with supported resolutions. You can choose any resolution from that list. All of them are tested on a strong GPU. You can also use 2048 by 1536. For this first test, I am using Flux to Dev FP8 with the Mistral FP8 text encoder. So I turned off the auto prompt section and switched to the manual text prompt node. Here, my prompt is a young fashion designer in a modern studio, medium short 35mm lens, soft window light, photorealistic high detail. For this test, I set the resolution to 2048 by 1536 and then hit run. And as a result, you can see the result is clean 2K image of a young fashion designer in a studio. The face is not perfectly realistic yet, but it's already a good result. And the big point is this, we are getting a full 2K image from Flux 2 in just one click. And that too, with no upscaling and no extra steps. On my system, this 2K image takes around 1 minute 9 seconds to generate with FP8. So I tried another prompt. A cinematic scene from a film, dramatic lighting, detailed environment. And same thing happened here. I just type the prompt, keep the resolution at 2K and hit run. You can see how good the images look and again, it takes around 1 minute for a full 2K output. So with this text to image workflow, you can already generate high resolution flux to images directly without using separate upscalers or extra LoRa's for detail. So now let's look at the auto prompt part of the text to image workflow. Here in the graph, there is an auto prompt section. When you turn this on, you can simply upload an image and the node will write a JSON style prompt for you. And that too based on that image. So I set this up using a JSON prompt format that follows the Flux2 prompt guide. I gave those roles to AI model and asked it to generate the best Flux2 style prompt automatically from the input image. And here is how I use it. For the first test, I upload an image with an old man and old woman, a car in the back, a window and a green area outside. The source image resolution is 1280 by 720. So I set my generation resolution to the same size. I just upload the image, turn on auto prompt and hit run. The workflow writes the prompt for me and sends it to Flux2. So as a result, you can see it looks very similar to the input photo. An old man and an old woman, a car in the background, a window and a green area. So you can use auto prompt to generate a new flux to image that matches the style and layout of your reference photo without typing any prompt yourself. I tried another test image, a muscular male hand holding a red and silver aluminium soda can tightly. And again, I uploaded the image, keep the same resolution and run auto prompt. The and Flux2 generates a very similar result. So for this auto prompt section, you just upload an image and it will write the prompt in JSON style that Flux2 likes and gives you a similar image. Next, I tested the GGF Q4 model in the same text to image workflow. I switched the model branch from FP8 to GGUF Q4 and run the same test. 
the first thing I check is quality compared to FP8. The Q4 GGF model gives results that are very close to FP8 images. The details are still sharp, the colors are clean, the composition is consistent. Then I test the old men and women example again with Q4 using the same auto prompt setup. The GGUF Q4 model also gives a very good result. The men and women are in the same kind of pose. The car and the background are similar. The colors match the uploaded image closely. So if your GPU does not have enough VRAM for FP8, you can safely use the Q4 GGUF model. The images still look very good and you can keep the same workflow. This covers the text to image workflow and shows you how to use text prompts, auto prompt, FP8 and GGUF inside one setup. Now let's move to the next workflow. Here the second workflow is for editing one image. The structure is almost the same as the text to image workflow, but I added a load image node at the start. Here, you just upload a single image that you want to add it. Flux2 will keep the main structure and change only what you ask for the prompt. For example, I uploaded a photo of a woman wearing a black t-shirt. Here I want to change the t-shirt color to green but keep everything else the same. So here my prompt is change the women's t-shirt to green. I run the workflow and the output image shows the same women, the same pose, same background and even the small thread details on the t-shirt. But now the t-shirt is green instead of black. The result does not look like a cheap overlay. It looks like she was always wearing a green t-shirt. So with this one image edit workflow, you can do simple but powerful edits like clothing color changes, small object replacements and light adjustments while keeping the rest of the image untouched. So let's move on to the next part, the third workflow. Here it uses two images to create one new result. And in this setup, you have image one and image two as references and Flux2 will combine them based on your prompt. So in my example, in my image one, I uploaded a woman in image two, I uploaded a man wearing a t-shirt with the text space bound on it. And here what I want is quite simple. I want the woman from image 1 but I want her to wear the t-shirt design from image 2. So here my prompt is something like use the same face and pose from reference image 1 but make her wear the half sleeve t-shirt from reference image 2. In the second image, the t-shirt is half sleeve and in the first image, the woman is wearing a full sleeve top. So in the prompt, I clearly mentioned half sleeve t-shirt from reference image 2 and then I hit run. As you can see, the result image shows the woman from image 1, but now she is wearing a t-shirt with the space bound print. The text is clear, the t-shirt shape looks natural and nothing else is distorted. To test it further, I replace the second reference image with a different t-shirt that has the text think big. Now, I want to check if Flux2 can keep this exact text without distorting it. So I keep the same prompt pattern, just update the references and run again. And here the output shows the woman wearing a 
new Think Big T-shirt. The font and layout look the same as the original reference and the text is still sharp and readable. It does not look like a pasted logo. It looks like a real photorealistic t-shirt. So this two image workflow is very useful when you want to transfer clothing designs, you want to move logos from one person to another, or you want to combine a character from one image with styling from another image. Moving on, the last workflow is the multi-reference setup. Flux2 supports up to 10 reference images. So I built a workflow that can use all 10. You can enable or disable each reference branch depending on how many images you want to use. For example, I'm going for four images. And here for the first test, I uploaded four different cartoon characters, character one into image two, and so on. Here, my prompt is all four characters from image one, two, three, and four, same style, same pose, standing together on the road. And for this test, I use the resolution of 1344 by 1728. And if you want to match the exact resolution of one of your input images, you can connect the width and height from a resize image node. And if you want to set, a, set the resolution manually, just disconnect that and type your own width and height values. So here I run the workflow with four references. The output image shows character one looking similar to the one in image one. Character two matching image two, character three matching image three with a slightly different pose but the same design. Character four matching image four. So all four characters are together on the road as I asked in the prompt and the style is consistent. So with four images, Flux2 already does a good job. Now let's go a bit further and use six images. This time I set up the references like this. So here I want the final image to use the man from image 1, the beach from image 2, the t-shirt from image 5, the shoes from image 3, the shorts from image 4 and the cap from image 6. And here my prompt is, use the man from reference image 1, place him on the beach from reference image 2, make him wear the blue t-shirt from reference image 5 the shorts from reference image 4 and the cap from reference image 6. And then I hit run. And in the result, you can see the same kind of beach as image 2, the men from image 1, the re a red cap, orange shorts and a t-shirt that matches the reference clothing images. The same shoes that we upload in the shoe image. The t-shirt, shorts, shoes and cap all look like they were part of the original photo. The colors and shapes match the reference images very closely. So with this 10 image workflow, you can mix many references and build a single coherent scene. You can use up to 10 images in total and create one final image that combines all of those elements. So with these setups, you can generate clean 2K images in one click, edit clothing and colors, move designs from one person to another, and even build complex scenes from many reference images. So that is the full tour of my Flux2 Comfy UI workflows. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel and Follow for more tutorials like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.